Today we have the opportunity to hear from Office of Management and Budget Director Mick Mulvaney. Um, the submission of the President's annual budget proposal marks an important first step in what should be an orderly budget process. Over the years, however, under successive Congresses and administrations, this process has broken down, leaving behind a confusing, illogical, wasteful maze of legislation and ad hoc governing. One of my greatest concerns as the United States Senator is our country's national debt, a figure that's now eclipsed $20 trillion. To secure our economy long-term for future generations, we must tackle this growing problem. While lowering taxes is proving to bolster our economy, which will bring in new revenue, we must more closely examine the spending priorities and habits of the federal government. Instead of funding the federal government week by week or month by month, we must address the structural deficiencies of our budget process, returning to a system that actually works. I will close by saying this. It doesn't balance. Um, it doesn't balance within the 10-year window. Uh, I think I, I said to you folks, I know I said to my members in the House last year that I, f I worried that when I came to you last year that it would be the last chance I would have to bring to you a budget um, that balanced in 10 years. And I said at that time that if Congress did not take steps last year and the administration did not take steps last year to change the trajectory of our spending that I would not be able to balance the budget within 10 years this year. Um, and that has been the case. It, it, it would, would have been possible to, to, to probably bring you today a balance the budget if I had fudged the numbers. Uh, but I'd rather bring you numbers that are true and honest, uh, that set forth a better picture of our fiscal condition than lie to you and tell you the budget would balance in 10 years. The American people are counting on us to work together to fix the nation's fiscal mess. We must start now because one thing is clear, ignoring the tough problems today will not make them disappear. And the longer they persist, the more difficult they will be to fix. Um, it's a tough road ahead, but I'm confident that we can find success together.